January 2023. Phoenix real estate market experienced a roller coaster year in 2022. The year started off strong for sellers with fast rising prices. But when interest rates started to rise in April, the buyer activity dropped quickly shifting the market to a buyer's market for the remainder of 2022. This is Gregory, Gregory Victors, with this month's Metropolitan Phoenix market update. The number of sales in Metropolitan Phoenix dropped 21.6% between 2021 and the year 2022. Last year saw the fewest annual sales since the year 2015. Median sales prices in the middle price of all sales, 50% of the homes sell over median, 50% sell under median. The median price hit a record high in May, late May, the end of May, of 480,000, only to fall back to 415,000 at the end of the year, which is below where it started. In January of 2022, buyers had a scarce 2,000, 5,201 homes to choose throughout Metropolitan Phoenix. And by October, that number had increased to over 19,000 active listings. By the end of the year, there was 15,731 active listings, 191% higher than in January at the beginning of the year. Today's market presents a very good opportunity for buyers. More on that later. Volatility in 2022 was mainly caused by a rapid increase in intense rates which reduced affordability to buyers needing a loan. We saw new escrows per week drop as the interest rates hit 5, then 6, then 7, yes, 7%. Thankfully, over 2022 is over and the demand has been up since the start of the new year with new escrows last week higher than any week since last June. And even though prices dropped last year, home values are still up for a majority of the Valley homeowners. Real estate is still a good long-term investment. The increase in the buyer activity we've seen in the last few weeks might indicate that we have hit the bottom of the market. We can't predict the future, but indicators are good. Inflation is dropping. Holding interest rates steady, we're seeing the average price per square foot for active listings increase. This should spread to under contract listings and eventual closed listings. It might be a few months, but we might see prices turn around by the second quarter, which makes this the perfect time and opportunity for buyers before prices go up, interest rates go down and inventory goes down. Of course, if mortgage rates climb higher, all bets are off. Navigating the ups and downs in the markets can be challenging, and that's why, whether buying or selling, you need a real estate professional like me on your side as a trusted advisor. This is Gregory, Gregory Victors, Yay Realty, your new construction and resale broker. Thank you.